I said, you know, you don't deserve to be spoken to that way. I know that. Obviously, no employee does. No one deserves to be treated that way. I'm going to work on how things can change, but I can't overpromise that either. My dear team, I do love many of you. I never said it, those words, but I'll say it now. There's a lot of people in the building that are I mean, morale's shit. I'm filming this for the staff, you know, sorry you couldn't be physically here. Everybody in the whole fucking building is frustrated. I mean, right? Right. right. Demoralized. Yeah. Demoralized. And this is, these are intended just for the family here at Project Veritas, you know, this is just for us. Yeah, yeah. I think the trigger line is when you told her I know. Why would you want to beat him up? What kind of motivation is that? Leadership has a price and results often come at a human cost. Look, this model is gonna fucking work, but there will be nobody here to run if you keep doing what you're doing. This is fucking like on a fucking tear like I've never seen before with everybody in this building. I have used about most of the social capital or capital that I don't need to Maybe fewer in this world, present day, are willing to pay that price. I have been doing things in the seats. They're now in the middle I'm eventually getting the point through, but that doesn't prevent the beatings of that. Journalism is reporting things powerful people want kept hidden for the wrong reasons. Moral wrongs, bad behaviors. You guys just went for 21, you know, 24 or 5 days without a break, which I... I understand you probably feel very, feel very underappreciated about that. I apologize that I didn't do more in the moment of yesterday, but I also, um, one, I was just kind of like, uh, is this happening in an office? But two, uh, the times that I've reviewed in those before, because that's my third or fourth one of those other part of um, it didn't actually. Like, I stopped in, everybody calmed down, right? And then it didn't, it just then happened five minutes later. I don't have the answers to why they've been doing this or why board members were going directly to employees to collect grievances. Um, I talked to a couple minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So what I said to hey, I said, you know, you don't deserve to be spoken to that way. I know that. Obviously, no employee does. No one deserves to be treated that way. I'm going to work on how things can change, but I can't overpromise that either. But I also take very seriously that that, you know, I mean, no one deserves to be treated that way at work, you know, we, you know and, and she was kind of going back and forth about the, 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 the whole, you know, thing, and I said, hey, we don't need to recap it. And, yeah, uh, I think the trigger line is when you told her she I know, and I know. You have no idea my own frustrations, I mean, and that's, an, that's a complete other story, but... So what I long story short, there's a lot we, we both know what's you know what it is now and why it is, okay? There's a lot of people in the building that are I mean morale is like shit. Horribly you not know, horrible. Man, he is going above and beyond the way he's treating I can only imagine many, many people in that building is just it's just somebody's gotta be able to get through to him and say, Hey man, you need to fucking rejigger somehow. He needs to see a doctor. Just to give you some insight. Yeah, I can't agree with the things that you just said, and I'm not saying that I do. It's a function of what can I what can I affect from a change perspective. Last 13 years, I've been the same person I've always been, probably better than I used to be. These are adjectives some people used: uh, tough, uh, hard charging. He he's a control freak in one aspect. I mean, he's a freak. We, are, we know that. I don't want you, you know, you and I are talking candidly. He's just fucking like on a fucking tear like I've never seen before with everybody in this building. Yeah. So, so here's what I'm trying to figure out. So two weeks ago, I remember it's really bad. And I remember just being like, oh, this is not a good place to want to come in right, right now. And please don't show you what I see. And, um, um, and then last week I thought it was really good. And this week was really bad. And this much more really bad is not going to be sustainable in terms. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. I want to say, look, this model is going to fucking work, but there will be nobody here to run it if you keep doing what you're doing. Through the years, things fundamentally continued on an upward trajectory for this place, albeit turnover. What I will also share with you is a little bit of what he did last night was not becoming a leader. What I can't promise you guys as leaders is that that never happens because you understand that I 
can't promise that. Everybody in the whole fucking building is frustrated. I mean, Frustrated right? is not the right word. No, I know. Well, what you were saying? Demoralized. Yeah. Demoralized. Why would you want to beat him up? You know, what kind of motivation is that, you know? Those are the questions I have. I don't have answers. Your guys are journalists. Maybe you can go find the answers. Here's what I would tell you is I have used about most of the social capital or capital that I can not James. I have used most of it in the past couple of weeks. And my ability to influence in the cities right now is low ebb. Low ebb? Yeah. So that's where I'm, I'm hesitant to overpromise things to employees. Here's what I'm saying. I am not advocating necessarily for people that I would prefer, but I also am, um, I am also making the point in private about, I'm eventually getting the point through, but that doesn't prevent the beatings from happening. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if I would be able to change that dynamic. The best thing for the company would be not to let the CEO take a metaphorical machine gun to everybody on a daily basis. At the same time, it's his company, you know. So, there's right. only, only so much you can so, do. Yeah, and 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 I am I am gonna have a yeah. Um, I, I hear you. Sounds like something you would get in the Claire McCaskill campaign. <laughs> it sounds like something you'd. It sounds like something you would expose. <laughs>